we are going to share all the knowledge that we have uh, don't worry if you don't have a pen with you just uh, first of all the session is being recorded second of all we are sharing all our knowledge at the end all the three cases that we are sharing today is to inspire you and you can learn from them but you don't have to worry about not getting all details because uh, we shared it at the end and we'll show you exactly how um, if we were actually live, I would have engaged all of you at the beginning of Red Lab because Red Lab is about sharing knowledge and sharing it with each other. Because this is only 20 minutes, we don't have any time to engage in breakout rooms. Uh, so I hope we get a chance to do that um, at another session. But this is about brand and event activation. And it's so important at the moment since we can't meet physically. Normally, IMAX America, oh sorry, IMAX Frankfurt is a very, very big thing for us to meet and greet. But since we can't do that, this is the second uh, best thing. So having done that, uh, we've uh, made a presentation uh, and uh, also want to introduce, uh, this is me, this is Kent, and we are starting the presentation with a smile because uh, brand and event activation is about creating emotions. It's about telling stories. Normally we do them and they have a huge effect on when we do that physically, but right now we need to do them virtually and, and that's why we need to have a strong presence. Uh, especially online. A lot of our, uh, us are online anyway, so why not activate your brand or your event uh, through these simple steps? And I would like to pass on the word to Kent, my co-host today and an activation specialist. Hello, Kent. Hello, my bit, and thank you. And hello, everybody. Uh, sending smiles to you from the city of smiles in Aarhus. Um, we will be, as Mike would said, uh, sharing all this uh, with you at the end at our uh, share paper. But before starting, um, you should consider uh, asking yourself uh, a few questions. Uh, for example, that could be, uh, what are your strengths? Um, do we have natural ambassadors? And how can we start uh, simply? Um, I'm saying that because um, sometimes it's just right on the uh, tip of our nose, the answers lay. So um, take a look at uh, what are you good at? Uh, um, are you the best uh, uh, cocktail maker, or are you do you do you prepare the juiciest steak? If that's if that's uh, your thing, make sure that that uh, you are amplifying uh, uh, that as well. And we will bring you some uh, 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 fresh cases today. Uh, my bridge just uh, changed to uh, FC Michelin, and we will uh, uh, talk a little bit about football here, not that much, so we won't divide us into us and them, but we will tell you the story about this uh, Danish club that uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, told uh, their, their uh, audience, their fans, that they will uh, do a drive-in uh, soccer match, uh, and, and they will prepare for that. The good thing about that is that uh, that uh, specifically has a lot of uh, multiple touch points. You have uh, the sponsors, you have uh, uh, all, all the good, great ideas about dividing uh, the away team and the home team into colors on the, on the parking space as, as well. And as you can see, the ambassadors will of course be the, the audience uh, and the crowd. And there's a lot of ways that you can um, bring the soccer match to the cars and the, um, the, the, the thing from the car, the, 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 the crowd uh, uh, back to, to, to the stadium. We have another case of that in, in just a second. And, and best of all, it's scalable. So you can take whatever um, you, you find interesting in that case and bring that to your local uh, place in, in a small scale, or you can scale it up to 40 or 50,000. Uh, people if if you wish that this is another um, uh, world premiere uh, it came out uh, earlier this week and uh, I actually uh, uh, got ticket tickets for that uh, it's a virtual uh, uh, fan zone via zoom on a on a Danish stadium um, what they are doing is that that you can uh, purchase your ticket for as a special place uh, either home or away uh, uh, on the stadium and you will be on Zoom in that 
within that community. So you will be on Zoom with, with whomever you normally would see that uh, soccer match with, and you can interact with, with uh, those people. And on the stadium, as you see on the screen, there will be large screens showing the fans and, and, and their reactions to the game. Um, of course, it will be difficult to, to uh, relay every uh, uh, emotion from, from uh, one part to another, but they will uh, definitely try. And I think uh, um, the, the uh, soccer uh, teams here are, are being very creative about how they, they can bring their passion into this new world we are in today. Yeah. And... Um, and, and, and as you can uh, see, my bit will, will ch change to, uh, to, um, to uh, uh, another world premiere uh, done uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was a drive-in concert where um, Danish singer Mess uh, Langer had a concert for 500 cars. I don't think that he ever imagined that he should be saying that, that I had a crowd of 500 cars uh, in, in front of me from from that stage, but uh, he did. And they uh, really got creative about how to bring, of course, the, the, the concert to the cars. It was uh, um, transmitted via uh, uh, a radio frequency, so, so you could hear it on the car radios. And also, uh, uh, one of the fans were live on screen on, on the stage from the car, uh, from her car. Uh, as well, so there were uh, interactions uh, going uh, back and forth. And uh, uh, another thing that the cars here, they, they weren't um, allowed to honk their horns, but, but they were allowed to use the, the, the lights and, and also the windscreen wipers uh, uh, were in, in, in big use at that concert uh, to wipe away the tears or whatever. They, they weren't allowed to get out of the cars. So uh, yeah. So that gives us a lot of evidence. If you can mirror yourself in that, you might not be a soccer stadium or have fans like that, but what can you do for your audience? So we've shown you this case in order for you to mirror in that, saying that they built up a space, an empty space, they filled it up with cars, and they created an experience. And the feedback was actually that people felt connected because we still need to feel connected. And when we talk about brand and event exhibition, it's about that human to human um, connection. Um, actually, this week, I was so lucky to be invited into a hotel. In Denmark, you can still go into a hotel with the social distancing. And I was able to speak to their general manager about how they activated their brand. Of course, they don't have the, any events at the moment. But I asked her, I said, so what are your strengths? And she said, you know, it's the people. It's the people that work in this hotel. They are so committed about giving that extra service. And we talked about some of the touch points that you could use if you have a venue or a hotel. And one of them was, of course, and this is live from Wednesday, the photo that you see, it's cocktails. And who doesn't love a cocktail at the end of a stay? And I said, well, if I was driving home that night. So I said, well, could I have a cocktail? And she gave me the recipe home. Um, and that's one of the things that you could do. If you have a venue like Ken said, where you have the best sauce, have the employees tell the story, use that. Right now, it might be a plan B. But right now, it's also about keeping you alive, keeping your audience engaged, staying into the loop. Another strength of this Hotel Atelier that I visited, it's their local community. They actually, it's a new, it's a small boutique hotel. So they don't have to engage 40,000 people like we could see with the soccer stadium, but they uh, made a plan to engage their local community. Why? First of all, if we're not going to be able to travel, it's, it's good that they invite the local community inside. They don't only invite them inside, but they actually give them a discount. Also, the uh, local officers and the local uh, um, businesses engage together so they create activations on how they can help each other just by being friends. So that might also be a very, very good way to activate your brains. Be activate your brand because what they did is that they have the natural ambassadors because they got people around them but they also are very good with cocktails so that's a way of, of, of doing that but if you have an event what can you do Kent? 
Yeah, I think as, as I s said earlier in one of the slides that if, if you look at what your strengths are and, and your natural ambassadors and, and how we can start simply, as, as you said, my brother, it's, it's not about um, overcomplicating things. It's, it's like we, we want you to just uh, go out and, and, and do it. And, and, and when you've got those uh, uh, things in, in, in place, you should see where will I put my, um, my uh, work into what, whatever fields. It could be, as we said here, good deeds. Uh, uh, do we have good deeds that, that, that will work for us? Do we feel uh, for a course? Everybody do uh, that at, at the moment. But, but uh, do we have a, 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 some good deeds that, that we, can, we can do? Or are we working with a, a, a fun experience or also opportunities and collabs? Uh, as as Mark said uh, uh, just a, a minute ago, um, the collab of your uh, local uh, community is so, so important. And another thing that, that you shouldn't think of when, when doing this at first is that this is not a campaign. It is uh, just you telling stories about your brand, activating your brand on a human uh, uh, level as well. So, so uh, go out there and, and work with the, with the stories and they will uh, spread all over as well. Yeah. It could be also that, I mean, how are the beds in the hotels? What if you had some of the cleaning ladies or whatever jump in the bed saying that, you know, we're ready for use establishing that trust that they are able to enter the venue or we don't know what your strengths are but we know that once you look into your organizations i'm sure that people can help you find out and it doesn't need to be perfect you just need to start and right now it's an ample opportunity to do that um, so how otherwise can you engage yeah it's uh, i think it's it's uh, it's about engaging you can you can engage early uh, um, you, you, you can uh, stay connected with your, with your audience uh, over time and you can create that togetherness uh, 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 thing within your, your uh, community. Um, as you can see, Untied Yet United, um, uh, an Italian girl, um, Alicia, uh, posted a picture on her Instagram on, on uh, March the 15th, I think about her, this was her running shoe, and, and she's part of a running community in, in Italy. And she posted that picture saying, um, this is me um, hoping, um, reaching out, uh, touching people all over the world, hopefully. And she asked her local community and her friends uh, to share similar pictures. And they did so, and they created a, a, a wave that, uh, been virtual all over the, the, the world. And then ASICS, the sport brand, which is uh, the running shoe she's using, they picked that up, that good story. They picked it up and made some um, campaigning out of it, not to sell shoes, but to share what situation runners all over the world were in at that moment. And especially Alessia from Italy, where they were uh, hit really, really, really hard. And it, it just, um, yeah, it, it went viral and, and uh, she's, she's a, a huge person in, in, in uh, Instagram at the moment. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, I saw more than 10,000 followers on, on her uh, local uh, page. But that's a way to, to do it, uh, whether you're running or creating something else. But, but the togetherness and, and the way they, they connect with people are just uh, uh, brilliant. Exactly. So, like I, we said in the beginning, we, you can go to pancake.com share. You can pick up all the stories, uh, go online and, and download the share paper. You don't have to sign up for anything. This is our gift for you that we are sharing a little bit more about the stories and we're telling you how you can start your activation. And having said that, Richard, we wanted to know if there's any questions. Yep, one second. Yep. Hello, everyone. Um, first question. We have a couple. Um, is just, Do you know the, inst the Instagram for the girl with the shoe? Do you have her Instagram um, handle? Yeah, but, oh, uh, we her. will make sure that we put it online uh, afterwards. I don't have it. Do, uh, and, and we have that on, uh, on our share paper as well. So uh, there's a link. 
to, to the story and, and to Alessia as well. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I have uh, another question here. Um, with a lot of like the football stadiums that you're using, like, they're using Zoom. Um, do you, are you seeing any new technology that has made better ways for people to connect or what are your favorite online tools? Um, well Right now, I mean, we see a lot of problems. I, I mean, some banks and, and IT companies are not allowing Zoom, but, but Zoom or other, whether it's another platform, I use Zoom, but I also try to engage on Facebook and I try to engage. But most of all, if we see activation, it's about using the platforms where your clients are, where your ambassadors are. So what you need to do is, is you need to connect with your audience. But there's a lot of platforms out there and I'm not a platform specialist. I try to work on the content, the stories that connect people. Yeah, that's it's, it's very difficult in, in uh, these, these times with, uh, with that. Um, I, that's all the questions I have uh, as, as of now. I've got a couple minutes left if you want to just uh, yeah, have to wrap uh, up. And then... What we also wanted to tell you is also about the sharing. Of course, go to pancake.com at share. Get the stories and start, um, start looking at where you can activate your brand. Actually, right now, it's a gift to the industry that we are able to share with a lot of people around the world. So, so use that. Use, uh, it may be a plan B, but it could be a really good plan B. Um, tomorrow, um, if you look, go to um, our uh, website again, we are giving, um, a, we're holding, a, hosting a, a workshop on the pivoting, how you can pivot your business, how you can actually do it. So it's more in the how to do it, not why you should do it. You, it's at um, 11 o'clock, so it's 10 UK time. Um, you can go, it's on the community uh, day. There's a lot of other exciting content. Um, you can do that. Also, if you want if, some questions, if you have some questions throughout the day, connect with us uh, through the app. You can ask us questions that you might not have asked us uh, right now. You can, we'll be uh, online all day. If you want to hook up with us either by mail, we have, we're here for free knowledge. It's, it's like everything's been canceled anyway. So let's, um, let's take that learning curve so you can connect with me and Kent on, on LinkedIn. As just you can gonna, see, actually, one, one more question, um, maybe, to, maybe to finish on. They're asking about how they could use these tools, like the ven venues can use these tools to well, lead like to, book said, it, to bookings, event, uh, like bookings but, in particular. Is it too early to actually ask for business or should they just stay with what you're doing, like subtle ideas or keep people in, in, in mind? Well, what we say is value first. I mean, I always say, let's not get married, let's start dating. So it's kind of like we have to get to know each other uh, before we've, we've seen each other face to face. So I'm, I'm thinking of it, let's bring value first. But once you're in the loop, then you can go from browsing to booking. But it's a lot easier once you warm them up, just like dating. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you so much to, to both you, Margaret and, and Ken. Great session. We've had some really good feedback in, in the Zoom already. Um, like they said, please do connect with them. You can also connect with them during the app, uh, through the app if you have any questions for the rest of the day or over the next um, few weeks.